So, Arsenal 2, Lou Town 0. Uh, they have been put in the bin. They've been sent back up the, uh, the M1 with their towels between their legs, um, thinking they probably should have spent more than 13 million quid this summer, uh, or last summer even. Mm. This is player ratings, guys. You know how this works. If you don't like it, cry. We don't care. We're back on Saturday. Uh, Jez will be at the game. And uh, make sure you sub to Jez right now. As we record this, uh, 12 minutes to 1 Spanish time, 12 minutes to midnight UK time, Jez is 13 away from 5K. And it's and two years tomorrow I started YouTube. Two years tomorrow. Two years today by time. Congratulations. Happy anniversary. I actually yeah. think it's my um, wedding anniversary today as well, actually. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, I think it's their wedding. I'm sure it's the 4th of April. I forget every year. Yeah, only like when it's a big one. Mm. When it's a big, like a 40 or 45, well, it's 40 now. Well, it'll be about 40. Maybe it's 40. What am I? I'm 42 this year. 43 they've been together. Wow. 43 they've been, well, married. Yeah, they've been married 43. I'm sure, yeah, when it was their 40, I'm sure it's 4th of April. It may be the 6th. I may be wrong. But, um, but yeah, either way, say less. Sub to Jez now. Get the slipper out. Sub to Jez now. <laughs> 5K needs to come right now, people. Uh, listen, smash a like on the video. Big up to everyone who's tuned in. Sub to me as well. Lee Reacts. We'll be doing the Prey Along at Anfield tomorrow uh, mm -hmm. against Sheffield United. Um, please, 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 Sheffield United, have a little saying for them. Please just put everyone on the goal line and hope for the best. We'll take a stinky nil nil. Um, yeah, we live in hope. Either way, we just got to keep doing what we do. Um, but yeah, Jez, we did what we do. Uh, mm -hmm. We were just talking backstage 35 goals in nine calendar year wow. games in the league this uh, calendar year. Four conceded. Wow. Four. And in all comps, which is um, 12 games, um, if you include the Porto two games and the Liverpool Cup game, it's seven goals. Seven goals conceded in 12 games. Forget them, that's but league be, form. That's got to be... I, I've, I've got to look this up because that has got... I, I don't remember those stats in my time. Four um, goals in nine nine league games in a in calendar year. In nine eighteen, wasn't it? In eight in nine in the ninety eight team season, eighteen all season. So yeah, Chelsea did fifteen in the whole season, oh five. Yeah, 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 yeah. But this what this what I said to to you, to Matty, to Kenny. I've said it's all everyone. Like we've conceded twenty four goals this season in thirty one games. Three of them were against Lugan. Like, yeah, two of them right. were against West Ham at home. Yeah, there's five goals straight away, plus the two against Fulham away. Yeah, yeah. there's seven. That could be certain. Yeah, Forest, Brentford scored goals again. Like Newcastle, okay, cool. Oh, the Gabriel push and all of that. Was it a goal? Was it out of play? And all genuinely, like everyone says that 15 goals won't be broken. And and listen, big up Jose Mourinho. I don't care what anyone says, he is one of the goats of the game. I actually think in the next five years, the way football's gone, it's so mechanical, me methodical, robotic. I actually genuinely think somebody could break that and do single mm. digits. Like nine goals conceded in a, in a whole year, in a whole season. I actually think it could be. It might take five years, it might take ten, but the way football is now, maybe it could happen. But either way, that's for another stream, guys. Uh, sub to Jed. It'll be in the title. But, um, all right, let's hope. All right, listen. Forget, I don't care if we can see the 115 as long as we're in something. <laughs> yeah. 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 And uh, we're looking we're looking very good. Um, we're looking very good right now. Um, nobody looks like they can score against us. Yeah, we've had all the fallout from the City game at the weekend. Oh, you didn't attack. Yeah, because a lot of people wanted us to get spanked. Yeah. That ain't that ain't Arsenal this season. No. Yeah. And it was Arsenal before we went on that uh, Dubai trip in the uh, winter break. And we were all sitting here doom and gloom. Oh, yeah, they've bottled it on. We were sitting there going, Emery's three behind, Angie's five behind, blah, blah, blah. Well, guess what? Fair play to whatever they said or did in Dubai because we have been absolutely flawless pretty much. Yeah, we've won eight games and drawn one. 
since we've come back from Dubai in the league, conceding four goals. Relentless. Yeah. And tonight, multiple changes. Give us your breakdown, Jez. Brilliant. Um, fair play to Mr. Arteta. You know, I said it in, in the fan cam. Um, I like what he did tonight because he mixed it up and uh, at the right time. Big game at the weekend, away to Brighton. That's uh, never an easy place to go and win. Um, last time I was there, I think we won 3-1. I think I'm right in saying that, which was last year. So we've got mm. to go down there and get the three points. And uh, I'm looking for all day looking forward to that game. And as as we said, Lee, you know, I, I can see this going right down to the wire. It's going to be cup final, last day of the season, City, Liverpool, Arsenal. And we'll be watching all three games as they pan out. However we can do that, we'll, I will be. I'll be watching like, oh, my word. Oh, City, oh, no. Oh, uh, Arsenal. You know, it's going to be a brilliant day out. <laughs> it's going to be a brilliant day out, right? It's cup final day, even though we... You know, you know what I mean. So, two 0 today against a very poor Luton. Um, I, I predicted three. I think you did as well. But yeah. we got the job over the line. Number three points. Unfortunately, Villa couldn't hold out against Man City. Um, Phil Foden was unplayable in my opinion today, from what I've seen on match of the day. So we move again, and uh, decent performance today. Some players came back in we haven't seen for quite a while. And, uh, yeah, some silky stuff as well from uh, Rice and from uh, ESR. And some, oh, wow, I mean, come on. You know, our right back today, he was almost unplayable as well. So it's all there, Lee. It's all there. It's just now, let's get it over the line. Let's hope tomorrow night Liverpool capitulate and cock up which they could possibly do. I mean, I know it's Sheffield United, but hey, things happen in football. It could be our year. And uh, I'm loving what I'm seeing right now. And yeah, yeah. I'm Mr. Positive. I'm Mr. Positive. Um, I've been positive since Christmas. I won't lie. And yeah, yeah. Wait, listen, we, we, it's hard. It's hard not to be positive right now. And this is the thing. A lot of people expect us all to have a meltdown after that City game. Meltdown for what? Yeah, we, we've seen us get pammed every year for how many years at the Etihad? Eight yeah. years. People were always said, like, yo, we need a plan B. He's got no backup plan. He's got no plan B. It's one. No, 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 no. This year, or this calendar year, especially, yeah, it looks like he's got a, a backup plan. And he showed at the Etihad at the weekend that if we can beat Bayern Munich next Tuesday, and we will see you next Tuesday, Il de Puta, yeah then we can go to Bayern and stink it out. Yep. Yeah. And sometimes you have to stink it out. It's Ooh, as simple as that. You can't play sexy 5-6-0 like football every week. Tonight, weren't the greatest game to watch. But guess what? Nobody cares. It's another one off the board. They had barely any shots. I think they had one or two shots on target. Didn't score. Happy days. We win the game. See you later. That's another one off the board. Eight games to go. Yeah, mm. it's what it is. We move on to Brighton. I don't think we'll see that team at the weekend. I think it'll be the the main team. Yeah, yeah, the first team. Uh, maybe maybe Tommy Asu will start left back. If not Kivio, I don't think we'll see Zinchenko. Hope um, not. Yeah, the same. Jesus Christ. But other than that, um, it's also shown that players like Smith Rowe can still be used and mm. still put a performance in. Yes, it's Luton. Cool, but this is the same loot and everyone's been hyping up. Oh, they're giving it a go. Oh, what a story. Okay, cool. But now Smith Rogan, oh, it's only Luton. No, less of that. Yeah, at the end of the day, yeah, Declan Rice sat on the bench today. Saka weren't in the squad. Martinelli's got another few minutes tonight. Party's got a load of minutes tonight. Smith Rowe's proven he can be. Trossard was decent. Yeah. 29 was decent again. I was shocked he was hooked, by the way. Yeah. But there was other players. Reese did all right. But there was other players, i.e. Eddie and Ketia, yeah, that have shown, yo, and maybe that was the last chance saloon. And he was just saying, yo, go and put the final nail in. Yeah, it was telling that Jesus never got on the pitch. But listen, 
is what it is. If you don't like the ratings, cry. We're back on Saturday uh, against Brighton. Um, yep. If you do like the ratings, stick a thumbs up on the video and sub to Jez. It's in the title. Um, but Jez, David Raya, mate, he's got the easiest gig in the world right now, isn't he? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He was there tonight. You know, deck chair out, cigar, glass of champagne. You know, <laughs> sitting there thinking, well, what, 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 what have I got to do tonight, then, boys? You know, give me something to do. He was in total command. Two saves really he had to make, and he was in command. Fair play, and yet, you know, we get all the bullshit about, you know, oh, Ramsdale's the better box shot stopper. Well, maybe that's the case, but he didn't really have too many shots. But to nobody stop gets him. shots against us, Jez, so it don't matter. He could put exactly. you in goal. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Uh, yeah, nice performance. I'll give him a bang average six because he didn't really have a lot to do, I'm afraid. Yeah, so. I agree. Um, let's go to Benjamin White. He was doing fancy dance, Jez. Cool. <laughs> silky. Silky, silky, man. Um, he nearly scored that? off at the back of that. It would have been such a sick goal if he had finished it, but oh, defender right. blocked it. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> what's happened to this player? Seriously, you know, I'm loving every minute of it. You know, I wasn't his greatest fan when he came, I won't lie, but he's certainly done something. I'd love it. You know, he was actually being a bit bossy today as well. He was being a little bit pointing fingers at people in uh, Saliba at point, in a couple of points. Seven for Ben White for me. Yeah, I thought he was very good as well. Uh, let's go to the opposite side. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Mm. Zinchenko. Yeah. Not happy with him. Uh, he, he causes too much panic, man. I'm sorry. Gabriel looked panicked today, playing alongside him. Looked like at times he had a cover for him. You know, ESI had a track back at times. And I'm, nah, 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 nah. I don't want to see you, mate, on, um, on starting against Brighton. Totally different games on, no disrespect to Luton Town, but Brighton Hove Albion away is going to be a totally, totally different game. Zinchenko, I'm giving you a bang average five. Uh, let's go to William Saliba. He got yes. man in the match at the uh, Etihad at the weekend. He did. Um, he did. And mm -hmm. I think them two, obviously, I'm not going to rate You're not going to rate them both together. But them two complement each other so much, man. Like, he's the silky Rio-esque. I'm not saying he's mm -hmm. as good as Rio. But he's the Rio-esque. He's got the size, but he's good in the ball. Whereas you've got Gabriel, who we're going to come to after, um, who's more, even though he drops to the floor very quickly, uh, he's the more attacking, aggressive centre-back, the Vidic, the Yapstam type. Yeah. But they complement each other. But go on, give us, give us your thoughts on Saliba. Yeah, I like Saliba. He, he, I, I'll tell you what, Lee, I think he will develop for his age right now. I think he would develop into a very, very good player. Seriously. You know, he's young. He's He looks solid. He's aggressive at times, which I love. I love that in a centre-back. You know, very reminisce at times. I've said it before. He's a bit like a Steve Bold, Adams type, in-your-face type player, right? I'll give him, I'll give him tonight a seven. Uh, let's go to Gabriel. Gabriel, he's learned, you know, two years ago, this was the guy that would commit fouls just for fun, right? Now, he stands that little bit off a player, right? He, he, he boxes him in, he pushes him out the way, not physically, but he, he's, he's got this sort of thing now. We'll move a player out of position, chase him down. His physique now is where it should be, and he can bully players. Yeah, seven for me. Yeah, look at the way he was in uh, Harlan's face the other day as well. Give it yeah. all that. I love that. I love the shit out yeah. of I love the fact that we've gone up a level there because before we went Dubai, yeah, like maybe they got the shit kicks out of them in Dubai. I don't know. Maybe they had some kickboxing training or something. I don't know. Yeah, because <laughs> before that, we were like little puppy dogs. Yeah, yeah. now we're the people. Yeah, we're the Rottweiler. And it's like the mentality's changed. Yeah, fair play. Uh, let's go into midfield. Thomas Party. Uh, first start for a very long time. A very long time. Started the game slow, overhitting passes, lapse of concentration nearly got them in. Um, but 
grew into the game another what 60 70 minutes under his belt after coming on at city what did you make of him well let's, let's 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 put it on the table right now this is a player we need to come back at this time of the season and fair play to Mikel Arteta and I'll give him absolute respect for this he's brought him back in right started against Luton gave him the time yeah he was a little bit rusty I think is the word at the start of the game, bit slack, but got better and better and better, got into the game. And again, we need a bullying um, player that can back up for Rice. And this is the guy. I've got a lot of time for Partey. I've said that from when we first bought him. His injuries, yeah, has cost him. But seven for me today because his naughtiness right in a, in a you know naughtiness in the fact that he calls issues that's what we need we need that backup player lee we need somebody if rice has to go off for whatever reason we got a player that can come on and call some dramas yeah facts uh let's go to emil smith row uh he got man of the match he was yeah. involved in both goals he nicked the ball for the first one um he spread the ball across goal for the own goal um, that Reese was shamelessly trying to claim. <laughs> but um, again, another 80 odd minutes under his belt. And uh, I actually thought we played really well tonight. I thought he was brilliant, mate, at times. I would have hooked him a bit earlier, but I think Arteta was trying to see how much he could get out of the tank. Totally agree. Yeah, my man of the match, I, 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 I thought, yeah, the beer belly seems to have disappeared now. The last time we saw him come on as a sub, a little bit punchy to me, but the salads uh, now, Jez, not the Big Macs, exactly. Yeah, um, like what I saw, fair play to the guy. Um, was it a shop window tonight? That's my only question to you. Um, and with Reese as well, hope not for ESR. There's a player in there. Hey, I said that once before about a certain player called Havertz. Hmm, there you go. Let's let's see if we can get it over the line. Yeah, eight. Eight for me all day. Uh, let's go to our captain. Uh, he's my man of the match. Um, I thought he was superb in that first half, along with Smith Rowe. I thought they were the best two players comfortably. Um, he got the goal. Um, yeah. I expected him to pull it across goal, but he was off balance. Nice finish. Um, the only reason he's my man of the match is he stayed on for longer. Yeah, I, 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 look, it's a tough call for me between it. Uh, Emil Smith Rowe and Udegaard, lovely goal, lovely little curling shot into the into the corner. Um, great ball for my liking from ESR. Uh, sorry, from Havertz, and uh, I will give him a seven. The only reason I've given ESR my man in the matches, I just think is he was annoying. To, he was annoying to Luton tonight, getting in their yeah. faces. And he calls dramas, and he, he lovely little ball as well to, for the for the for second goal. So um, yeah, uh, Udegaard seven for me. Uh, let's go to Reese. <laughs> Reese, yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he put a shift in. I won't deny it. Good to see him out there. Um, First start for three years, Jez in the Prem. Wow, yeah. I mean, I didn't realise that until you told me. That's that's quite that's quite something. Uh, I didn't know that. Um, that's a long, long time, isn't it? Really. But I don't know if that's a true stat, by the way. Somebody in my comments section told me that. So if it ain't, leave it in the comments. <laughs> yeah, I didn't. I I don't know. I don't know myself. But yeah, decent performance, man. I'll give him a six. Uh, let's go to the opposite side. Um, I was shocked he started. Because the way our manager was going nuts and we were all going nuts as fans and probably rivals were going nuts because they want us to win the league, a lot of them, unless you top them. Um, mm. I'm surprised that my ball has started to, tonight. Um, but he was doing Cruyff turns. He yeah. was doing nutmegs defensively. He was covering for the politician who was missing half the time. Uh, what did you make of Trossard? Yeah, I thought his lovely performance tonight. Uh, unlucky he didn't get a goal in fairness um yeah i can't fault him he was up there with me possibly could have been challenging for the man of the match um yeah seven 
Seven. Good performance. Uh, let's go to the opposite side. Um, sorry, let's go to striker. My bad. Um, 29 uh, involved quite a lot. He actually had a good game at the Etihad that went under the radar uh, because we didn't pass the ball to him enough when he was clean through. Uh, tonight, he probably should have squared one. I can't remember who it was to before we scored the goal that he squared, squared to Odegaard. I think it was Smith Rowe or Trossard, and he took the shot. Um, again, I was surprised he got subbed. I thought we would have kept him on, but what did you make of his game? Yeah, I thought he's decent again. Um, I, I thought, yeah, okay. My my view is the reason he got subbed off. We need him on Saturday. The game was done, so let's take him out. Don't need to push him any harder. Good decision by Arteta, for my mind. Um, six for me. Could have done a little bit, yeah. Okay, he took a couple of pot shots, didn't quite work out. There was that one messy sort of situation, that melee in the box. <laughs> you know, it's yeah. like, oh, how many chances do you need? But yeah, six for me. Well done, Havertz. Uh, let's go to substitute. Smash the like button, sub to Jesse's channel, get him to 5k, guys. It's in the title. Um, let's go to uh, Tommy Asu. Yeah, came on. Didn't have a lot scored of as well. Yes, yes, yes. Um, Tommy Asu. I, I mean, I like Tommy Asu. I said that. You know, I, I don't have a problem with him. It's just the fact if he can ever stay fit enough. Um, that's the problem with me. Uh, so, yeah, I'll give him a six. Um, let's go to Declan Rice. Came on, did his usual. Um yeah, I mean, I love this player. Absolutely love this guy. I think he's been a major, major difference for us in midfield. Huge, major difference. Um, and I think that's where we're at right now is because of a lot of him. And mm. I'll give him a six. Uh, let's go to Gabriel Martinelli. Martinelli came on. Didn't have a lot of time to influence the game, to be fair. Not really. Um, I really want him to start against Brighton. I'm glad he came on. It proves now that he's ready to play again. Um, and I want him to play against Brighton because I think his pace, <clears throat> excuse me, down that left flank could cause them all kinds of drama. Uh, yeah, didn't have a lot of time, but I'll give him a bang average five. Um, Edward, Shitsu, and Ketia. It's like throwing a tennis ball down the street. <laughs> yeah. The dog will run after it, yes. Runs around like a headless chicken. Sorry. <sighs> yeah. Um, sorry, mate. You've really got to leave in the summer. You've really got to go. It's not personal, you know, but you're just not levels. You're just looking around. You don't know where you are. You don't know. Nobody's passing to you because you're shit. Right? <laughs> and the players know that he's crap, man. So why would you pass the ball to him? He, he like spooned one, just past the post. Really, if you're a top level striker, mate, wearing that shirt, right, the iconic fourteen, then you should be getting them goals. No, sorry, bro, you're having a four. Uh, last but by no means least, Jorginho. Yeah, came on, didn't do anything really wrong. Didn't have a lot of time to influence the game, to be fair to you, Lee. Um, I'll give him a five. Um, you know how this works, guys. If you don't like the ratings, cry. We genuinely do not care. We're back on Saturday evening um, for the Brighton game. Um, and then again on Tuesday. See you next Tuesday uh, for the Bayern game. Uh, we're going to do a 3-2-1 countdown. Leave your comments down below. Sub to Jez. Sub to me, sub to Lee Reacts as well. Lee Reacts is super close, literally super close, less than 50 away from 26k. Uh, wow. This channel is less than, I don't know how many subs I'm on on this channel, uh, less than 300 away from 96. So come on, guys. Wow. Let's right. do this, guys. 96,000. Yeah, come on. Wow. Mad. Well, I don't, I'm not sure why the subs keep going up, Jez. Uh, obviously, I only get views when we lose. Um, Maybe yeah. twice for rivals and that. I don't know. Uh, anyway, three, 
two, one, eight. eight. Oh, okay. All right, look at that. <laughs> we always that, agree. Jez always that, agrees. Uh, <laughs> that is not that is not pre-watched, mate. That is um, <clears throat> fat. That's what we thought. That's what we thought. The reason I gave him an eight is because I like what he did today. I liked his substitutions. I like the fact he started these players out there in a game that we knew we were going to win against Luton. No disrespect to Luton Town. It was it was it was written in the stars, man. Then they're, they're not good enough to come to the Emirates and cause this drama, and they didn't. And fair play to Mikel Arteta for getting it right. And uh, he did the right thing because we need the big performance on Saturday. 100%. Um, make sure you smash a like on the video. Um, and, uh, sub to Jez, obviously. Sub to me. Sub to Lee Reacts. Uh, I'm back again with Northside, uh, Said, and Flawless, although I do need to text him and make sure that's cool. Uh, but if it is, um, I'll be back at 1 p.m. UK time on here. I'm also doing a pray along um at anfield tomorrow i won't be at anfield i'll be here but we'll be watching the game uh jez shout your channel out mate um listen happy anniversary for your channel two years just like yeah, that yeah. what you got coming up man i'm gonna do a match review tomorrow um i'm gonna try and get somebody on who because it's his birthday as well tomorrow so that'd be quite funny um anthony herbert might drag him along Great guy, um, lovely Arsenal fan. Uh, it's his birthday, celebrating my first two years on the YouTube, and uh, just nearly on the five k. It's it, it's uh, been a great journey. Love working with you, Lee, as you know, Kenny, as well, and uh, yeah. So that's tomorrow, and then I'm looking forward to the game. I'll be at the game, bright and away. That's uh, always a good day out down there, and. Um, I'm actually up in the box, actually. Posh. Ooh, uh, Jez with a link. <laughs> yeah, going all posh. He's in the posh uh, seats, lads. Yeah, I'm up in the posh <laughs> bit, right behind the dugouts. So, um, nice yeah, little bit of a three course for probably a 12 course meal. <laughs> well, it'd be prawn sandwiches and all that, you know. <laughs> nice yeah, little so bit of, um, nice little bit of red. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm not no, driving, it, man. and I'm not driving, so I, I, you know, I've got the dramas of uh, having to worry about getting there, and I'm being, I'm being chauffeured. Hey, how about there that? There you go. See, this is how Jeff's, Jez's lifestyle has changed since he's joined YouTube, guys. Yeah, don't let the four point nine k uh, fool you. Yeah, Jez is absolute royalty, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I wish. I wish. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that, that, them seagull merchants have invited him as the guest of honor. He'll be on the pitch at half time. <laughs> hey, mate, I'll tell you what I will be doing. Right. If, I be, if I'm there, right, I'll be looking around, seeing the AFTV crew. I'm going, get out of here, scum. Get out of here. <laughs> get out. Uh, listen, always love, man. Always love. And uh, thank you. And listen, Jez, happy anniversary to your channel. Yeah, thank you've you. been a credit to my channel. Yeah, but also a credit to the community of Arsenal. Yeah, and people get it twisted to think we're always negative. We're not negative. We're just not 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. We've seen it, been there, lived it. You more so than me because you grew up right opposite Highbury. Literally open your door, you're there. Yeah, born and bred. Yeah, and uh, no, honestly, you as, and Kenny as well. Yeah, so much credibility, man, like to, to my channel as well as your own channel as well. Yeah, so big up to you, man. You fully deserve more than 5K. But trust me, man. I love being on your channel. I love working with you. I love working with some of the amazing people I've met, man. Northside, Kenny, you know, amazing and amazing, amazing people. It's, it's just been absolute lit for me. I won't lie. And, um, yeah, I just get a buzz out of it. I really do. I get a real buzz out of it. Yeah, that's good, man. And it's always nice talking football with you. Make sure you sub to Jez. Uh, we're out of here, guys. Uh, adios. Top of the league. Well, for 24 hours, maybe probably, what, 20-odd hours, 22 hours from now. Uh, I've just seen that Foden gold again. That's a fucking joke. Yeah, we're out of here, guys. Yeah, this guy, yeah, the Saka debate's over, bro. Foden's clear.
Yeah. <laughs> Foden's clear. But we're gone before we upset any mutants in the chat. If you want to cry, cry. See you Saturday. Adios, io de puta. <laughs>